Kia ora whanau and welcome to a slightly late uh, episode of Get a Job and Get Healthy with Costas Enterprises. I am your host as always, Alex Costas, and today I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a heads up, um, as the title sort of suggests, now is the perfect time to start your Redbubble or print on demand journey. Now the reason I say that is, will be, I'll, I'll sort of explain it a little bit, um, but when I do explain it, you will kind of understand exactly what I mean. Um, so in this episode, we'll sort of go over exactly what it is that I think you should be doing um, and getting yourself ready, uh, as well as um, how you can sort of get some quick hit designs uh, that you can upload and stuff as well to give you ideas. So uh, before we get into all of that, of course, you can find all of my details through uh, my website, costusenterprises.business.blog. Um, you can also follow me um, on both Twitter and Instagram at the Kiwi Don. And of course, uh, as always, if you do want, you can always email me doncostas at gmail.com. That's D O N for Nike, C O S T A S at gmail.com. So, why is it the best time for you to actually start your print on demand journey? Well, at the moment, in the, the month that we're in, we're getting very, very close to. Halloween we're getting very very close to Christmas very very close to Black Friday Thanksgiving so now is the time that you want to be starting your print on demand journey <clears throat> now if you are like me and you're doing Redbubble or you're doing Threadless or you're doing Teespring or Society6 or whatever you want to do Public, however you want to get through your actual um print on demand journey now is the time to be starting to do that because you will find that in this next sort of quarter um, from sort of September to sort of January you will start to see more sales so now is the time to start putting together things like Halloween designs or Christmas designs or even funny Black Friday Thanksgiving designs all those sorts of things um, you can start creating quite easily. Now, one of the things you can do is use your um, Canva to find free designs or even paid designs if you do pay for Canva and just start putting them all into one group. So say, for example, if you've got a Halloween uh, ideas, make just a whole lot of different separate pages that are all Halloween focused so that you can download these all in one sort of zip file and, um, all is transparent of course if you are paying for canva um, and then you can just simply upload those uh, once you ex once you sort of save the zip file to your um, to your hard drive and unzip it and then you can actually save all of those there and then there are sort of thousands of designs on canva so you can literally throw a cat around and, and hit one or two that you might find you can use and as you guys know canva is the the word slogan things so if you can start creating both black friday designs or halloween designs or thanksgiving designs even valentine's like you got to remember valentine's is coming up as well in february that's not that far away it's about what six months well people will start start searching in sort of january possibly late december for things like val valentine's gifts so now is the time to start getting onto this sort of stuff so if your shop if you don't want to make it specific to anything you just want a whole hodgepodge of all different types of designs now is the time to be uploading these and focusing these on holidays so we all know that christmas sweaters are always a funny uh way and people do like them well you can make your own sort of christmas sweater design for a t-shirt um, also you can just simply write simple text things in Canva that you could turn in so you know just for example um, one of my designs that I haven't yet sold but does get a lot of views is just a simple nope n-o-p-e you could do the same thing so you could just pick a word and use that word and then that is your actual design so I want you to take the time to sort of have a think what is stopping you from doing this? What is stopping you from going, you know what, I can actually start this journey? Is it getting the designs? Because I've just given you a solution as to how you can fix that. If it's 
starting up the whole process, the whole process of starting a Redbubble store is not very hard at all. You just need a PayPal account or the equivalent other that they use um, and uh, an email address. So have a serious think about what you can do to make it easy for you. Then you just have to simply upload. And there are a whole lot of other ways that you can upload your um, Canva designs. You can do automate automate POD and all that sort of stuff where you can link in those things. Now that is a paid service, but I have not yet tried it, but apparently it's quite good. Um, from Ryan, Ryan Hogue, um, who you guys should be listening to as well. And even if you just even if you just took your red bubble and started working on the trending designs that you see from these YouTubers videos, create one design for each thing. Create two if you can. But try to get your uploads before sort of Halloween to a hundred designs uploaded. Create your collections. Make a Halloween collection, make a Christmas collection, make a holidays collection and put them all in if you only want to do up to a hundred designs. Now, the reason I say 100 designs is because one collection is 100 designs. You can have up to 100 designs in a collection before it creates a new collection or stops letting you add items to that collection. So, why not take this time to create a holidays collection? Or, if you're ambitious enough, a Christmas collection. There's so many Christmas designs out there. Um, now, it could be something simple as just the image itself or it could be the it could be the image with some funny words on it like we know humor sells um, of course if you're going to sell anything that is sort of of a restricted nature um, then you have to make it and mark it as mature which yes you might get sales from people with that mature styles but the one thing you do have to be mindful of is that you won't be able to enable it on all of the products. So if you do make something of a mature nature on Redbubble and you deem it as such, you miss out on quite a few products to put it on. Um, and it would be better to make sure that if you do need to classify it as mature that you actually do that. Because if you get caught out, you're more likely to get your, your shop you know, banned as opposed to um, letting that design through because it is of a mature design. So the uploading process, you can upload up to 60 um, designs a day. And I'm going to give you a little tip to make these this a little bit easier on you. If you, when you're creating your designs, if you can frame them all in the same, exact same dimensions, and by that I mean the picture itself is, is within the same dimensions, then it's going to make it a lot easier when you do sort of go copy style edit all that sort of things um to have those resized you won't have to do as much resizing as you would as if you had all these other different sized canvas um options so it's really really helpful um i wish i'd done that with my things like my kawaii friends specifically the plant one uh, because i've got all these other different plants different sizes had i kept them all the same dimensions then it meant that when I went to upload them, they would all be uploaded a lot easier. Now, if you can get over 100 designs, fantastic. Um, but before Halloween, try to get 100 designs up. Um, try to make, if you can't make 100 Halloween ones, try to make 20, 20 Halloween designs. It can be a pumpkin, it can be a ghost, like it can say boo sheet, you know, or boo sheet. That's a design right there. Now, of course, make sure that anything that you're using is trademarked and copy checked and all that sort of stuff, because you don't want to you don't want to get banned for that. But now is the time. Now is the time for you to take that step. Start your online business. I am. I've just made a couple of sales the last couple of days. I told you guys about, and because of those sales. I have now reached another monthly entitlement. So on the 15th, I will get paid another 20 odd dollars, um, which will be my second payout of this year. Now, don't forget that any money that you earn during this time, if you don't hit the $20 you know, threshold that you need to, um, you will get paid that out usually around about December the 13th or 14th, which is the artist payout. 
which is when Redbubble basically goes, right, this is what's outstanding on your account. We're going to pay you this now, and they pay it into your PayPal. So I am looking at potentially um, maximizing my thing so I can get at least three payouts this year. Now, granted, I'm not making any money. I'm not living off this money. I'm not, you know, making daily sales like other people are at this stage. Uh, but at the same time, I'm doing well enough that I might be able to actually pay for a monthly subscription of Canva or two months or three months for this year. So I'd be looking at around about $100 made this year once this goes through. So knowing that we're coming into this quarter where it is going to be, you know, pretty big, people are still shopping from home. There's still a lot of money on the table. What do I want to do? What do I want to create? And how do I want to create it? You know, one of the new things that I talked about is desk mats and, um, and mouse pads. Now, I know not many people use mouse pads, but people do use desk mats. Um, people also play card games with desk mats, which is an idea that you could look at. So if you create a design, create a design that might best suit the desk mats. Um, you can enable it on everything else and just resize it, but primarily that would be the one that you'd want to do. And then when those get launched, you're the first cab off the rank, especially if that's your optimized photo. So don't be afraid to sort of push the boundaries a bit. Make Redbubble or any of these projects, uh, uh, any of these systems work for you. Because at the end of the day, that is what your print-on-demand journey is. It, is. it is being able to make your passive income work for you. It is being able to go, you know what? I want to have this money um, as a side business while I do my main business. It could pay for, as I said, if you're lucky enough, it could pay for your Canva for a year. Or maybe if you get a really winning design that's sort of trademarked that you can use or you trademark it or whatever you want to do. Basically, if you create something that's going to trend and you get sales off it, well, that right there is the dream. Like, that's what you want. That is how you start moving from this is something that I do as a little hobby to this could be sustainable but you have to put in the effort you have to put in the work you know I, I keep talking about how I want to hit my 500 designs well last week I got really close to it and I you know I did uploaded about 11 designs and I've got about 11 to go so this week I will be doing the exact same thing I will be uploading, uploading, uploading and trying to get to my 500 and then trying to get a little bit higher thinking of uh, I will start doing the Halloween I will start doing the Black Friday I will start doing all of that stuff you know uh, think of things that are popular but without trademark coffee coffee is a huge overly saturated need same as dogs but what about coffee with dogs it's probably still pretty saturated, but what about coffee with pug dogs? Or what about, uh, you know, Americanos with coffee, with cats? Try to niche down so that you get those sales and those oversaturated needs. It might take a while, but tags, keywords, all those sorts of things... They do all matter. I've talked about these before in my other podcast episodes and also on my website. So by you taking a bit of time thinking about what it is the product that you're looking for, type the product that you've got, type the, the idea that you've got into Google. See what pops up. See if there's anything that pops up that's in relation to it. What kind of keywords can you find? There are keyword organizers like um, uh, Merch Titans has a keyword um, finder. Redbubble has a Redbubble key finder as well. Like there are options out there where you can find potential tags that are going to help you. Bubble Scout, um, which if you click into, if you install the, the, the Chrome add-on and then click into the Redbubble search bar, you automatically get brought up with the top four searches. And then if you log in, you can probably go a little bit more and deep, deeper into it into the top 20. The simple thing is, the options for what it is that you want to do are there. So start doing it. Now is the time. Now you will start getting, you know, sales. 
And if you don't believe me, if you've got your your business to 100 designs or more before the Halloween rush, you will start to potentially see traffic. As soon as you start traffic, uh, seeing traffic come towards you, specifically organic and red bubble traffic, then guess what? It's only a matter of time before you will actually make a sale. If you want to start it small, make it stickers. Make all of your products stickers. We know that stickers look the best in the thumbnail. So, you know, if you want that, make that your thing. If you want to design your clothing label, your own personal clothing label that you think would be really great and you want them on hats, hats are now available. So make your default product the baseball hat or the dad hat. The main thing is with Redbubble creating these new avenues and new products that we can put our, our designs on, if you're first on that uh, first cab off the rank in that design you will start to get sales now i'm not guaranteeing sales i can't guarantee sales to you to me to anyone it depends on what it is but if you put the work in you look at other people's stores you see what they're selling don't copy them don't copy anything else but you know have a look at canva what can you create don't spend a lot of time of it make it simple if it's just words, make it words. You could literally have, you know, dictionary meanings and then make them funny dictionary meanings for, you know, sloth, a person that sleeps all day, you know, whatever. That sort of thing can work. It's funny. It's going to get you sales. But you've got to have traction. And by getting traction, you have more designs. By having more designs, you get Redbubble going, okay, this person's actually putting an effort. Um... I watch these Redbubble shop reviews with like Ryan and and you know Shimmy and and uh, and Phil from the Money Game, and they always talk about the same thing. It's like you know, it's like these guys have some people have twenty six designs and they get their shop reviewed, and Ryan just goes, "Come on, five hundred designs is all all I ask." So while yes, a hundred is a small ask to start off with. And it does feel big. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to lie. When I first hit my first 100, I was like, wow, i got 100 designs. Oh, my God. And it took me months to get to 100 designs. Until I started thinking, how can I make my designs work for me? Can I create opposite colors of designs? Can I create, you know, more than one design using this as a template? Which is what I'm talking about. One of the templates I've got, you can go to my Redbubble store. It's in my shop. Uh, it's in my description. And you can just have a look at things like the when I uh, when I grow up collection. It's all the same template. When I grow up, I want to be, and then the design. Now I'm not saying copy that, but think of your own sort of one that you can do. What's something that you are that you enjoy that you know? Take that. How can you use that? Now I'm not saying, of course, don't use intellectual property. You know, if you love Rick and Morty, well, you know, if you can't draw Rick and Morty, you don't copy Rick and Morty. Now, with the Rick and Morty stuff, because it is part of the uh, fan uh, red bubble, you can create designs. There are limitations and restrictions on what it is that you can create, but it's still there. And if you can draw, hey, do it. Do it. But if you can't, maybe you're a student. Maybe you're a PhD student. If you're a PhD student, I'm sure you've got some funny things that you can talk about. How your brain is gone. Or, you know, if, you, if you're a sandwich artiste and all you know is the different types of sandwiches, well, make a funny design based on different sandwich names. If you've got a running joke with you and your mates, turn it into a t-shirt. Make it funny. But again, make sure you're not breaching anybody's intellectual property. Don't copy shit. That's the main. That's the main thing. If you copy shit, guess what? You got. You might get a couple of sales, but you might also get your shop closed. And then all the work that you did getting it ready, getting it all set up, goes down the drain. Another thing, if you do use something like Canva or Adobe or anything like that, work on your shop. Create a banner create an icon create a logo 
create yourself a brand. Because at the end of the day, that is effectively what your shop is. Your shop is your brand. If you're doing a Shopify thing, now, granted, Shopify is a great idea, and I have, you know, no problem with people that want to do that sort of stuff. But if you're new and you're starting out, think about something like Redbubble, because with Shopify, with, you know, anything where you create your own business and your own website, you need to drive traffic to it. And if you don't have that social media presence already, then you need to find a way to do that. But basically, the whole gist of this episode is there are holidays coming up. They are quick, easy designs, quick, easy hits. If you haven't started your your journey and you've thought about it and you want to do all these other things, don't. Just start. Because once you do start, you'll start generating traffic. And then, you know what? If you want to add your other designs, you want to get all fancy, put them on. Because by that time, you would have got some sales from the quick hits and people will find your shop. Your designs will start getting likes. Your You will start getting followers. So take this time to do what you need to. Start. As always, guys, I love you. Good luck. And until next week, I hope I get emails. Hey, Alex, guess what? I started my shop. Send me the link. I'll become one of your followers. I will have a look at your shop. I will give you favorites. Don Costas at gmail.com d-o-n-c-o-s-t-a-s at gmail.com tell me you listen to the podcast if you want help contact me email me but put the Costas Enterprises so I know that you listen to the podcast so until next week as always as I just said before I love you guys you are my Fano. so Be good and keep safe. Good luck.